everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today's video is going to be my top five least favorite rainbow high dolls. This was actually going to be a 10 list, but I could not come up with 10 of them. I pretty comfortably was able to get to five. Um, so to get on this list, the dolls just had to be like dolls that I just personally could not connect with very well. And uh, this is not considering any kind of restyling, just how the doll is when you get her, similar to my favorites list. So if I like a doll after intense restyling, then she can still be on this list. Which one of the dolls on this list that is the case for? Actually, perhaps two of them. Um, this is just for fun because, I mean, if you have a favorite of something or if you like something, there's always going to be ones that you don't like as much. And with Rainbow High, it's actually really difficult to come up with the the bottom ones. There's a few that I knew would be here, but it was pretty hard to actually come to even five, and especially when I was trying to get to ten. Um, by the way, Lily's here because she was my number one pick, so this, in my opinion, is the best Rainbow High doll ever made. She is customized, but not because of the customization. Um, and again, this is just for fun. Please don't get offended just because I don't like a doll that you like. It's really not that serious. Like, come on. Anyway, let's get started. So the first doll on this list is going to be like the furthest from being the worst, essentially. I don't really know how to describe it, but like number one on this list is, in my opinion, the worst Rainbow High doll. Anyway, um, number five is um, Winter Break Sunny, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what it is, but I cannot connect with this doll. It might just be mine. Um, I don't, I only have one, but just... There's some kind of disconnect for me with this doll, and I don't know what it is, and I really, really don't like um, her, like, outfit combinations. I can never make one that makes sense, but I like all of her outfit pieces. I, um, I'm not the biggest fan of the shiny skin, but it usually doesn't bother me, but on this specific doll and two others that I'm going to show you, it does bother me. Um, and specifically the thing that I really, really hate that I think makes her face look super weird is this, like, shimmery line of makeup that's like a different shimmer from the rest of the skin, but not quite. And it's so prone to looking wonky unless you display her at the exact angle that it was painted for. Mine does have messed up eyebrows though, but even when I cover them, I don't know, there's just something about this doll. I just can't connect with her. Um, but this one is a loose, like in the bottom list, you know, this was just like, I had to pick a fifth one to make this list make sense. And she ended up being the one. The other one that was the contender for this spot was actually Cheer Poppy, but for me, like, Cheer Poppy, the concept is so strong. It's just that the execution wasn't my favorite. Um, I actually just realized, like, all of the dolls in this list have the original face sculpt. I like the original face sculpt. I like Rainbow High dolls with the original face sculpt, but some of them do not look very good, and unfortunately, this is one of them. I think, like, the this bottom glitter that doesn't go all the way to the inner corner, it just kind of stops here, and it doesn't on both sides, and, like, I don't know. I think this doll was probably really cool in the design phase, but in the actual execution, I'm not, I'm not feeling her, unfortunately. Um, but I have seen other people's winter sunny, winter break sunnies that they've, like, restyled that look amazing, so I'm hoping someday I can get another one to play around with, but I just haven't felt super inspired to do so. I feel like winter break aged very poorly very quickly, except for Skylar and Poppy and Violet. Like, the others are just like, wow. I don't know. When I got them, I thought they were, like, really, really cool, but they pretty much immediately felt, um, stale I guess and cheer doesn't have that effect with me so I don't really know um winter break to me was like the rainbow high line that I would that I don't know I feel like most people are gonna skip over like in 20 years people are gonna be like oh yeah winter break happened I don't know anyway that's the number five spot so number four um this doll's on here solely because her outfit is such a train wreck and she only comes with one and it is junior high series one ruby um yeah, so this outfit is a complete travesty. Uh, it's just personally not my taste. I like it in concept. Like, I like the overalls. The shoes are actually really nice. I love the little socks. The I like that she has a scrunchie, like, all that stuff. But, like, her face combined with this hairstyle, combined with this outfit, com and, like, everything is so uh. And I hate the purple eyes that they give Ruby in general. But on this particular doll, they just look awful. I don't know. And the Junior High dolls in general, I actually really like them, but there are problems specifically with the eyes because they, the head is too small for the eyes, so the eyes are often, like, it's not even misplaced. Like, you cannot put them in a way that makes them not look like that. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like of all of the Series 1 Junior High dolls, this one just really, really flopped for me. I'm not a fan. Oh, by the way, I wanted to say that no boy dolls on this list because then this would just be a list of boy dolls. 
forgot to say that, but you know. So River and Finn certainly would be my least favorite Rainbow High Dolls. I actually really like Ash though, but I wanted this to be more interesting, so I didn't include them, but there you go. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, even like the necklace and it's a cool like outfit and it's really high quality. I love that you can actually um unbuckle this if I can even do it. Um like I there's lots of things that I think are cool here. It does unbuckle, I swear, I just can't do it right now. But I don't know, it just did not come together for me. This doll is a mess. Um, but I have heard that people do like her. Just for me, no. Um, and she's aged very poorly for me too. Like when I first got her, I was like, okay, she's not that bad. Like I think she's cute enough. But um, now I'm just like, I need to put a new outfit on this doll. It's so bad. I, ugh. I don't know. The shoes are amazing though. I do really like the shoes. And even the top, like I just, I don't get it. I know it's based on Supreme, but like that makes it worse for me. I don't like Supreme. Anyway, uh, that was number four. So, um, the top, the bottom three Rainbow High Dolls, um, yeah, I mean, you're, you'll get it. Um, okay, so number three is Avery Styles. She is from technically series one, like one and a half, I guess. She came out in like October of 2020. Um, so when she came out, she was actually one of my favorites, but that was out of the original like set of rainbow high dolls and i had fun with her wig gimmick i really liked that she came with extra outfits but over time i just i have not once reached for this doll uh both of the wigs are fine but i don't like them on avery um they're kind of a mess which is why by the way like these dolls on this particular list their hair is not the best it's just because i'm just not inspired to mess with them maybe i could give them more effort if you guys would like to see a video of me like attempting to restyle these so that i don't hate them i think that would be an interesting concept also now in the top three none of these have neck articulation which sucks uh you lose a lot out of that and i actually like avery's makeup like i know people hate avery because of her makeup they think it's really ugly but i actually love the base doll like let me show you. Um, it's just like, even the outfits that come with her set, there's only a few that aren't terrible. Um, I think her eyebrows look weird with the makeup. Like, the makeup is gorgeous, and I think it could look good, but it doesn't look good on this doll. I don't even know. Um, also, purple eyes again. Lots of purple eyes on this list. Um, not a fan. Um, yeah, she's just, she just didn't age well for me at all. When I first got her again, like, um, I remember vividly opening her and, like, loving this doll. Um, but I don't know. Just not the best. Not the best. I have to acknowledge it. I think that she is better than the bottom two on this list, but not by a whole lot. Um, I honestly kind of want to put her in where, um, Junior High Ruby was, but Junior High Ruby has, um, more going for her, I guess. I don't know. I do... I like this doll's concept a lot, and I think she's super fun, but the fact that she was released in Series 1 really hurt. But I will say that Ainsley is supposed to mimic Avery in terms of, like, they made her look like a Series 1 doll, and Ainsley almost made this list because that was such a, like, deal-breaker for me. Um, I like Rainbow High. I loved Series 1 when it came out. I still really respect Series 1, but compared to a Series 2 doll, Series 1 doesn't come close doesn't come close. And then series three and series four, like, it, it feels like a completely different doll brand. It's so fascinating to me how much Rainbow High has improved, truly. And I feel like a lot of Rainbow High collectors didn't experience these when they were first on shelves because, um, I don't know, I feel like Rainbow High was... It's just... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, all right, number two on this list. This doll is saved by her outfits. Um, this is some people's favorite Rainbow High doll. I don't... I can't get behind that. Um, but my favorite, one of my favorite Rainbow High dolls is Kaya Hart. You guys mostly hate that doll, so, like, please understand, please. Um, just don't be mad at me. <laughs> my least favorite, or my second least favorite Rainbow High doll is Bella Barker. Um, okay. So, I like Bella's character. I like Pacific Coast Bella. I like Junior High Bella. I like Bella in general, but this doll, oh my god, even when I got her, I didn't I just wasn't feeling her. Uh, I really wanted to give her a chance. She was one of the ones I was the most excited about, is, about in Series 2 because she was just so interesting. I loved her color scheme. In the show, she was, like, prominent from the beginning, but she didn't have a doll yet, so she was really exciting in that way. But, like, oh, my God. Somehow, this the dewy skin look they gave her is worse than the Series 1 dolls, and I'll do a side-by-side -side when we get to the number one spot in this list. Um... 
I really hate her eyebrows. I, I feel like if she had had like Cheryl's eyebrows, it would look so much better. I love her makeup a lot, but I can't see it because of the weird shiny face thing that she has going on. Her hair color is not the baby pink that you expect it to be. It's like toned yellow or something. I don't even know. It's just not. And as you can see, I have barely touched this doll since I got her for a reason. I'm just not a fan. And I've seen later release, like later um, batches of Bella that look better. I have a second Bella that um, I stole her eyes for a custom and she's just kind of been eyeless ever since. So I'm really interested in doing a restyle of Bella to see if I could not hate her. I don't know. Um, all of her outfits are amazing though. That's like this base doll. I can't like, I don't, I don't want anything to do with this doll, but her outfits are amazing. But do they look good on this doll? No. I don't know. I think people whose favorite doll is Bella must not have the same, because this is the original release of Bella. Like, if you got her day one, this is what she looked like. Um, I'm thinking they must have, like, the second batch or something, or maybe a later batch. Or, like, because this one's just not... Also, did you guys know, I didn't know this until recently, this doll sells for a lot of money on eBay. Like, people are going out of their way to get this doll, and it's because she's prominent in the show. Um, I, I just, I don't know. Out of all of Series 2, this doll is just, what? People hate Series 2 Amaya, but, like, she does not hold a candle to how much I dislike this doll. I actually really like Series 2 Amaya, but that's for another day. I was actually in my first top 10 list. I'm pretty sure that doll made it, or at least my second one. I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, um, Bella, I really hope you get another doll. I like Pacific Coast. I like Junior High. Oh, wait, she is. She has the... Okay, wait. The costume ball doll. Sorry, I wasn't thinking about that one because I don't have that one yet. But the costume ball Bella is divine. That's going to be the Bella doll for me. She's gorgeous. Um, I won't put a picture or anything because I don't want to spoil it, but she's coming out soon. Hopefully I'll be able to get a hold of her to do a review soon. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's Bella. She's cute, but I don't know. This doll is not, in my opinion. All right, the number one spot, I think you all know. <laughs> like, you all know. Um, it's Series 1 Violet. I got this doll, like, the end of July of 2020, like, right when they came out. So this is the original run of Violet. I loathe this doll. I was really excited for her when she came out, actually. I thought that she was going to be my absolute favorite. Not my absolute favorite, but I thought her and Poppy um, were kind of going to be my favorites and Sunny. Um, first of all, it doesn't help that I'm not a big fan of Violet's character in the show. I like her little vlogging gimmick. She's cute, and I understand that she's meant to be a, like, flawed person, but immediately in the show, like, right out the gate, in the first episode, the conflict is that she was just a terrible friend to Sunny, and that she doesn't really apologize. She kind of does, I guess. Um, and I like Sunny and Violet's friendship, and I hope in the show we see her, like, redeemed a little bit more, because as of right now, I just, I don't know. Not my favorite. This dress she's wearing is beautiful. I love it. But her other dress fits weird and the sequins fall off. It's not my favorite. Both of her pairs of shoes are great. I love the little socks. Her little jacket. Does she comes with a little... Yeah, she comes with like a fluffy jacket. That thing's amazing. Um, okay, this might be controversial, but her blend of hair colors is weird and I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, it's like metallic nylon in this purple right here doesn't match with the other ones it has like way more red to it and the rest has like a blue tone and i feel like it's really distracting and it looks kind of bad uh, and i have several other series one violets that were like later batches like later releases from like late 2020 early 2021 those ones are a lot better and they have like more of the lighter colors in their hair which i actually really like um i hate her bangs i hate them so much i despise them i have boiled her hair in this thing which i got from a rainbow high factory when i bought factory samples with their bangs set with this and I have tried resetting her bangs with this which is how they do it in the factory and I can't get them to stay I don't know what it is I think this doll is just cursed um her original hairstyle I was not really a fan of I thought it looked kind of dumb when I took it down now it looks worse so I need to just put it back um her lip color I I'm okay with the lip color like I like it but with the shiny skin I don't like it um mine's wonky which is not helping the situation but um, either way, I don't like the makeup. I like it in concept, but on the doll, like, I don't know. And it's the shiny skin, but, like, this is what I was talking about with Bella, by the way. Bella is somehow, like, she looks more like she's, like, doused in oil somehow, even though she was a later release, and they'd fixed it by Series 2. Series 2 dolls look more like Avery, where they're not super shiny, 
which I prefer. I do like the idea of the shiny dolls, and in series one of Rainbow High, it was novel and it was cute, but the way that, like, Karma and Stella are so much better- I love this cowlick, by the way, that's why I haven't fixed it. I, like, genuinely love it. Um, that's why I haven't- or, sorry, when, um, Stella and Karma from- and even series two of Maya came out, like, changed everything. I was like, I never want to see shiny skin on a rainbow high doll again. Which is why Ainsley almost made this list because I was like, seeing that shiny skin comes back proves that the shiny skin was such a bad idea. It just does not look good on these dolls. I feel like these dolls have aged very, very poorly. Um, even Junior High Ruby, I feel like she's aged poorly. And yeah, that's it for my list. Just a reminder, like, none of this is meant to be insulting to anybody. Like, sometimes a good design comes through the pipeline and just comes out weird at the other side. Or maybe the specific dolls that I have are just not my favorite. I just can't get behind Series 2 Bella. I'm sorry. She just looks weird. And maybe it's just my doll. But like, do you see what I mean? And I'll turn off the studio lights. She looks better without the harsh lighting on her, but, like, I don't know. Her- she almost looks like she has a different face sculpt, like a- and I- oh, the lip color. And look how small her eyebrows are! Why are they small? Um, yeah, I just- ugh. Not my favorite. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Please don't kill me in the comments. Uh, this is just kind of- I feel like we're getting to know each other a little better. Um, but if these are your favorite dolls, don't let me convince you out of it, you know? And also, because I am anticipating these comments- they're not for sale. I'm not giving them away. They go in my collection. I still like them in a way. Um, and to have a favorite, you have to have a least favorite, you know? And I like to have a large doll collection. I like to um, complete sets. And maybe this doll I loathe, but I like having all of the original Series 1 dolls, you know? So, uh, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know who your least favorite Rainbow High doll is, and I promise I won't be offended if it's Kaya Hart. Unless you're mean to her, because she's my baby and I will defend her. Uh, yeah. For all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.